Th th why aren't they getting in their cars? I don't. They just let him go. I don't. Doesn't make any sense, David Cage. And where'd the helicopter go? God, David Cage and his writing sometimes. Lauren? Lauren. I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. But she didn't eat the eggs, though. Reheat them, Lauren. Like in the microwave. Just come on. I was gonna take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do? I'm going to go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. I'll lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. Scott Shelby. Pissed off thick man. Incoming. Best part. Scott Shelby with the power of diabetes.
jelly filled one! What the hell kind of gun is that that can one shot so well? Bill through. Kids, he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a killer. Not a killer. Ah. Oh. 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 You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please. Don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Stop! Stop! I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Gordy... Gordy always wanted his fun, you know? He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Oh, you disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother... His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. Commander Shepard? Please punch him. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills. In that draw. There. That's a big ass bottle of pills. These pills? Sorry, no one will miss you. Shelby! Come back! Order you! Come back! No one will miss him. Rich trash. Like so many others. Hey, I got some free pills. I can sell these things.
Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. Aww. With the Alzheimer, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Let's go down. Old people home. No one comes to see her. Aww. Orchids. No one would suspect an elderly lady of being a killer. <gasps> Do you think? She's got dementia. Hmm. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In a the other care. hospital, they were always on time. But here... I came to talk about your son, Mrs. Shepard. My son? I have no son. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. They don't let her have a television? Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I have to start kicking her ass. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Aw, drunk daddy. Empty bottom drawer. How sad. Not, can't even afford to put stuff in the bottom drawer. Aww. Let's go put a flower in there. 
You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepherd. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Like an orchid? Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. <laughs> you might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. Thanks, gameplay help tutorial disguised as a nurse. That is now my gift to her. <laughs> Here's your pills. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Origami, huh? I don't think we want that one. Not the hummingbird. The dog. The big bad dog. Okay. Fold. Down. Now one. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He Did you also teach them murder? To Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. I pooped in my diaper.
What, you didn't hear the name of the, uh, of the killer? They said it quite clearly. You had to listen, but it sounded just like this. And his name is John C. an old meme, but it checks out. Oh my god, Ajith, XX, Ajith, your sub expired again. Do I have to sub you again? <sighs> Fine. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life New to subscriber. save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. New subscriber. Oh, God. Thank you for subbing, Lonster. Yiddis. Oh, I gotta drink it. It's for my son, Sean. Theodore Roosevelt Road. We knew that like a thousand years ago. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. How could he? Could he? Could he had the numbers in Roosevelt? Like he could have figured it out like four clues ago. He's had the number, and you could easily tell it was Roosevelt. Does it make any sense? <laughs> We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. You're a dick. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely you nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Thanks for subbing, Mr. Outrageous. Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back. Norman. Wow, that's not very Christmas-like to say that. Jesus. No, no, no. No, don't take the drugs. Oh, 
Why would you take the drugs? The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. I like I hate how they force you to do that one. Yeah, you can tell David Cage watched The Shining before coming up with that character. Geoanalysis. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Unfortunately, I, I don't. I think it's gonna be bad. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, rewind. Goat watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Can we zoom on this a little longer? The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. How about cops that own that gun? Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Well, it's obviously a cop. Okay, hurry. I, I think if I'm fast, I can still do this. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Okay, quickly. If I'm fast enough, I can save The killer him. lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. How many cops live there, though? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! No. That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. He's too crazy, though. Okay, put that in there. Any cops in that area? One. A cop. There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Okay, hurry. Nom 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 nom, bitch. Hurry, go. Love is hard sometimes, Blake. Love is hard. Yeah, there is a t there's a hidden time limit on that part right there. Scott, I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lord. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me 
tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I didn't know she was in the bears. He dies, so can't change the past. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to Detroit Becomes Human. The gameplay they show looked fun. I enjoy David Cage's games. They're like guilty pleasures. I know they're not the most the best games ever, but they're pretty good. It's not a spoiler, we saw his grave earlier! Come, Dad! Come on, John's gonna die! John's gonna die! Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go away! Please, Dad, I'm begging you! John's gonna die! John's gonna die, Dad! What did I tell ya? Scraps! Please, please, Dad, you've got to save John! I tried, John. Father, I the... really tried, but he wouldn't come. Why aren't you going to find Please someone else? Please don't die, John. Please. Find someone else, you dumbass. <laughs> don't, don't forget about Chris Scotty. Scotty? Scott? Scott? Scott Shelby? It was him the whole time? I'm just shocked. collecting evidence the whole time that could be used against him in the court of law to get rid of it. Loose ends everywhere. I know this is my third playthrough. I had no idea who the origami killer was. This is utterly shocking right now. When we play this again, I want to go for the uh, perfect crime ending, which is what you don't normally do on a first playthrough.
So that's what happened in the store. He killed the man and then caught him. those pictures before Jesus yeah when you first play this this part's like whoa Yes, Dan Nerd. Uh, I'm gonna flick it, flicking it, flicking it. Oh, yeah, flick it, flick it, flick it, flick it. Flip it, flicking it, flicking it, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I'm lost your touch, girl. What kind of a door has a handle in the middle? The so. origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. The inside door has the handle on the right side. Are the eggs still there? Are the eggs uneaten? There's no eggs. <laughs> Why would you look in the fridge? <laughs> what evidence is gonna be in the fridge? I don't understand why she looks in there. <laughs> Only serial killers keep butter. If you ever go in your fridge and you find butter, someone in your house might be a serial killer, just saying. Now that's pay to win. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Gun, take that. Thank you, you for the final calm. tip, says Merry Christmas. Is there a chance you'll replay exactly Nitro Republic? How an investigation would be carried out. Or Jade Empire? I've never played Jade Empire, actually. Here, it's supposed to be good. But thank you for the tip, uh, Gitchy. Stop it. Stop it. No. <laughs> Please. 
police department. Wait, that picture underneath, what is that? I know, Retro Goki. Jade Empire makes me go. Dan Fat. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Let's see. Is it here? A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Wait, Narnia's back here. Hmm, a place to grow orchids. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Hmm. Mars. The lunatic's been watching him drown. Why would you do that? Some kind of a well filling up with rain. Slowly drowning him. Oh, there's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Origami. Now that When the parents came home from church, all the children were gone. They searched and called them. They cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. So an urban scene. <laughs> Sorry. Shit, it needs a password. Password. Uh, John. Nope. Uh, origami. Nope. Max. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. Well, that was easy. That was a little too easy. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand there's one child left there might still be time to save him let him go do what your father couldn't do get in there uh oh uh oh Hello? Is anyone in there? Hollow. Ah! Nope. I need something. Oh, uh, no. Hold on. Ah! Come here. Tiny. Too high up. No. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Stop, drop, and roll, lady. Bad 
Madison, I'm gonna save you, girl. Oh no. Thing's gonna blow up. Oh shit. Okay, get out of there. Come on, come on. Hurry, hurry. Stop, drop, and roll. Okay, come on. food in here? Hurry! We need food! I need all the food! I can get fat! I'm about to die! Okay. Let's Indiana Jones this shit! Alive. I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy, Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. Madison Page. Yeah, I'm in jail. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. Have you got all that? Wait, I know this already. I'm on my way to the warehouse. I gotta go. Let's go, too. Well, this is how you get another character to get to the scene if you haven't, if they themselves haven't figured it out yet. So if any of the characters that don't know the address on their own, you can tell them to get them there. It's a way to like fix a mistake you made in the past. But we didn't need it since we all three characters already figured out on their own how to get there. Oh, not this part. This part is such a waste and boring and time filler. Oh, I know, not this part. I was thinking about the kid. I thought it was the flashback part. Never mind. Sean! Sean! X to Sean. I've been looking for a long, long time, Ethan. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched it, searched it. And then, 
All those murders, just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grave. Are you killing him? Jaden, no, I'm in Jaden to the rescue. Wait a second. Just to so his plan was to find a father to save a son and just kill him. What kind of a fucked up plan is that? It makes no sense. Why would you just fight? Oh, you're a, you're a father that will save your son. Okay, let's go on. It makes no sense. Okay, hurry up. I gotta find something to open the door with. A pipe or something. Is that something there? No. I need something to open the thing with. A pipe or something, anything. A rope. Can I go up here? Nope. I don't know where the hell... Oh, here. Okay, rip Sean. It's just that there is a little bit of logic behind what he's doing. And then now all that logic is gone. So I'm saying. Sneak up on you, Nauman. Oh. Uh, God, he's thick. Sniper's in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, 
My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami Man, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Damn me! I lost Gotta one breathe. tax cut. I need the I need the both of them. Ew. Ugh. Go. Ew. Don't leave me. Why did he stop after only a couple? Oh, 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 Sean. Oh, oh, I thought you were gone. Oh. Dad, I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. Sean, uh -oh. listen, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I, I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and, and I'm not dead. <laughs> I think he took the immunity to poison talent. Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Whoa. What are you doing, Madison? You're fucking crazy. Point of that. What do we do? To all personnel, hold your fire. I repeat, hold your fire. What was the point of that? <laughs> What's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look. We'll all go out together, with, with our hands in the air, and they can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. And Christmas. Scott. Uh. 
save me? Bastard! God damn it, Scott, you piece of shit. Talking about going to pieces on the holidays. announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. I hate apartments like this. They're so open. I need walls. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. Well, bang, okay. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. <laughs> I think that kid's gonna have a real fear of swimming pools for a long time, though. And rainy days. Today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer Yaman and Jade. saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good evening. Who the hell's Norman? It's Nauman. Hope they interview the eggs, too.
Don't do it. Don't do it. He quit the drugs. Yes. Yeah, you Lauren. My son Scott. You kissed him. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? Yeah, that was fucked up. He made out with her after he killed her he son. All this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. That'll show him. She should have squatted and took a shit on his grave. Now that would be something. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. Sub wayside comment. for some of a Twitch Prime. Unfortunately, the PS4 version doesn't have the Taxidermist DLC. I don't know why, but... New subscriber. Makes me kind of sad. Quagliz, thank you for the Prime sub.
I personally like this game though a lot. It's one of my favorite PS3 games. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, well, it's not really a game. It doesn't really count, but I still like it. I find it fun. That's just me. I don't know, like people are like, well, you already know what's gonna happen, but I like, I like it. It's like a, it's like a slightly above average movie. You know, like you watch every once in a while. It's, you know, it's not amazing, but it's still fun to watch, and play. I don't know. Yeah, but you can't analyze the story too much. There's too many moments in the story where you're like, wait a minute. What happened to the police helicopter? Why did they just let him go? Wait, what? What is going? What really? Why? There's too many moments like that where it's just like, it doesn't make a lot of sense to certain parts. She has to hide in the refrigerator. What? No, no, really? No, 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 okay. Yeah, David Cage. He makes games I enjoy, but you know, you can't analyze them too much. Indigo Prophecy is pretty good too. I like that one. And even though the game is a bunch of uh, Simon Simon Says puzzles, you gotta like click in the right order. And then uh, Beyond Two Souls was okay. Not my favorite. I like that one a little less than this one. I hope the new one com that's coming out is gonna be good. The uh, Detroit Beyond Human. That one looked pretty good from the little demo they, they showed at uh, the PSX. It reminds me a lot of Heavy Rain, but a little more depth to it, which makes you go, hmm. hmm. And one plot, plot that was thing was left empty that we don't know what happened is the eggs. They were they eaten? Were they not? We never found out about the eggs. There is another ending I want to try uh, next time we play this, where it's called the Perfect Murdered ending, where you as Scott make it so that he gets completely away with the crime and there's no evidence against him. That means a lot of people have to die and all the evidence has to be cleared and then he it's a perfect getaway ending. New subscriber. It's hard because of the goddamn typewriter shop where you gotta wipe the prints away. That is so hard. Every time. That is so hard to nail. Maybe eggs. Eggs eaten by the fish. Thank you for the Christmas sub, random team. And Meow Glick CSM. And Luinky and Wayside Comet. Thank you for the subs on Christmas. Very nice of you. Those damn eggs. Well, we're gonna play another Christmas game. We're gonna play some Dead Rising 4, which takes place in a shop in a Christmassy decorated town with lots of Christmas weapons. And we're gonna give away shit tons of games today. I want to start giving away all sorts of games. Starting right now. All right, get ready. This is open worldwide since it's digital and no one's gonna care. All right. If you like a copy of Resident Evil 7, if you want to win a copy of Resident Evil 7 on PC, type You want to copy Resident Evil 7 on PC? Go ahead and type. Uh, New subscriber. Wait a minute. It's a little like this is working. The giveaway app's not working. I don't see chat. The Twitch giveaway app doesn't work. It's broken. Hold on. Try again. Refresh. New subscriber. It's um hmm. New subscriber. Let's try that again. Now hosting Cutie Kitten. This is someone else's chat. Oh, it's hosting some. It's, it's. It has someone else's chat. 
Whose chat is this? Who can use it? <laughs> Whose chat am I in? Wait, hold on. There! Okay, I got it. Okay, it's working now. Okay. I had to change. It was going to the wrong place. All right, if you like it, if you like a chance to win Resident Evil 7 on PC, type eggs in chat. 